Two of Shropshire's primary schools have been literally buzzing. Cherbury and Stiperstone schools have been working with the Stiperstones and Corndon Hill Country Landscape Partnership Scheme. Uh, they're running a brand new project. It's called A Buzz in the Borders, and the pupils have been learning all about insects and public speaking. Yes, put the two together. Genevieve Tudor's been to find out more from Mandy Perkins. Action! Buzz in the Borders! This is a, a new project, actually. We've come into the schools with Andy Cutts, who is an entomologist. He's worked out a fun programme uh, for the children to introduce them to pollinators. So they've learnt about the pollinators both in a hands-on way and by doing exercises in the classroom and outside. And then Sophie's adding another element to the project, which is about presentation and confidence and so on. I would like you to start moving around in exactly the way you think your pollinator would move. So if you're a bee, obviously you're buzzing around. I've been asked to come in and run some speaking and listening skills, really. It's about encouraging the children to be a little bit more aware of how they can come across with confidence when they're speaking in front of an audience. I know you've looked at the adult. How would you describe that caterpillar? Um, green. Spiky, a small leg. Now, if you think about that caterpillar, that's trying to be camouflaged, isn't it, against that seed pod? Oh, oh so it runs in. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly right. Camouflage. What have you done so far? You've taken the youngsters out and shown them pollinators working like mad in the garden. Yeah, that's right. We've taken them outside in their school grounds. And we just stood initially, listened, and pointed to what we saw and what we could hear. And it was amazing. There were literally hundreds of different kind of insects on the wing, making sounds, fluttering past us, orange tip butterflies, for example. And the kids instantly became engaged and recognised things and realised that there's an intimate insect world around us. Can I have the OK, so guys, if you could just stay in your groups, and then what we'll do is we'll have a little rummage in the undergrowth. <laughs> So, guys, if you stay roughly in the same groups that we were doing the filming in. Hi. My name's Tom Middleton. Uh, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I run a company called SMN Film in Shropshire. So you're filming The Buzz in the Borders. Tell me about the project. What's your involvement? Well, what my role is, is to capture the, the young people in each of the schools, in Cherbury and Stiperstone schools. Uh, so they sit down with us in the gardens of the school, um, in groups of two or three, and they tell us about an insect of their choice, which is the buzz, their buzz. So we've been filming them talking about their insects, and we've been filming them searching the hedgerows and all the flowers and looking at insects through microscopes and things like that. And so what we're going to put together is 30 roughly one-minute clips, one for each insect. It sounds like an absolutely super idea. It's been wonderful. Today has been glorious sunshine. We've been sat in the wonderful flowery garden all morning and all day, and I can't think of a better way to spend a day, really, but it's been so nice to hear all this information coming out of these young people who know so much about these insects, more than I've ever known about them. And it's been so nice to capture that and we'll be putting it all together in these little films. That's Tom Middleton, buzzing in the borders. You can hear more about this on Monday morning. With Eric and Claire. Now, on Friday, you might have heard children from Cherbury and Stiperstone's primary schools talking about a project they've been doing called Buzz in the Borders. They've been learning about insects and making presentations about them on video. The idea was put together by Mandy Perkins, countryside officer for the Stiperstone's and Corndon Hill Country Landscape Partnership Scheme. Genevieve Tudor has been following their progress. She spoke to Sophie Peach, who's been teaching presentation skills. <laughs> Sophie, how's it going? It's great. What's been really lovely to see is the way that they've um, embraced learning about these these insects and then are putting into practice some of the speaking skills that I was working on with them and then uh, stepping up to the mark and performing for Tom over here in, in the camera and actually bringing them outside I think has made a huge difference because they're in a natural space and they're much more relaxed. Has anybody had a case of nerves before they've gone on in front of the camera? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I think there have been some nerves uh, this morning, but I think it was what was really good for them to see was that the more opportunity we gave them to practice, just the easier it got. Have you filmed everybody now? We've got uh, one group still to go, 
but we're, we're nearly through everyone. What we're going to do, we're going to sit you guys just down here on the grass, get everything recording, we've got sound equipment, we've got cameras, and we're just going to keep going until you guys are happy with what you've done. So once you feel you're pleased with your performance, we can press stop or cut, and that's it. So you guys okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. Okay, then, if you want to follow me, we'll have a seat down here. And if I could just grab the name of your uh, buzz again, what was it? What was it? Um, Brimstone Butterfly. Brimstone Butterfly. Okay, who's director then? Me. All right, there you go. So when I give the order, what you need to do is give that a big snap and shout yeah. action, and that's when you start your talking. Action. So, have you enjoyed the project? Yes. yes. What did you like about it? I like just exploring the field and all that and working together. Have you found some really amazing insects? Yeah, like the, we just saw a female um, and male orange tip butterflies mating. And that was really brilliant. How fantastic. I've enjoyed about exploring fields as well, and we've found some insects like huge wasps, and we've caught them and shown them to other people. And then we had to let it go, and we found all sorts of other things. It's been great, hasn't it? Well, I think it is very amazing, just... Being out here and looking at all the wildlife and seeing all those bugs by the river down there and... Have you learned anything new that you didn't know already? Yeah. What have you learned? I can't really explain this, but I've learned that some, some... Like, when I started, I didn't really like wildlife and I didn't go out much, but now, but now I've learned that... Going out uh, is actually really fun, and you and you can learn more things from it. <laughs> and there you are, a complete convert.